So, we meet at last. The usurper and my erstwhile slave come to claim my battle tower. An absurd suggestion. I have been its undisputed ruler for hundreds of years. Between the moment I spilled the blood of Sassan here, and the racking, killing, and defiling of those newlyweds this morning, countless necromantic excesses have passed the eons unchallenged. Ah, you were enticed then by the unique delights she promises. Your mind reeled at the possibilities, the fantasies. The actions of an ignoramus, a vandal, a destroyer of art. And it is this mongrel that wants my battle tower. How utterly contemptible. But enough of this chit-chat. Summoning Razakal was a nice enough idea while it lasted, but you have come here to fail, my friend. All I can offer you now is an eternal life by my side. Another undead puppet to be subjected to my every twisted whim. The necromancer is no more, but a greater evil still eyes your tower like a snake ready to strike. So, the dragon is about to hatch with the aid of the elusive Xandalor. I should have known you'd still crawl out of the woodwork, old goat. Hold your tongue, villain! How dare the scourge of Rivalon show his face here? You shall pay yet for the atrocities you committed. Ha! <laughs> you are up there in your ivory tower of moral absolutes, and still you lose perspective. The Divine's death, the war, it was he who caused it by murdering my beloved. Lucian did the right thing. Igerna worked for the Black Ring, and therefore she had to die. He would have done it again if need be, and so would I. Kerr, I loved her, and you butchered her. Now for every drop of her blood you spilled, oceans of mans will flow, starting with that of your new pet here. My armadas will see to that! He is launching an attack on your tower! Go on now! Become the dragon! And show him your might! <laughs> <laughs> 